Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameTube and welcome back to our Rainbow Friends character concept series. So in today's video, the character looking into is Lime. So we'll go into this character's backstory, location, gameplay mechanics and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just state that this is not linked to the overall universe and lore of Rainbow Friends. This is just a fun what if scenario and a cool creepy character we get to show off and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, do be sure to subscribe to GameTube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Also, just yesterday we had another one of our community character live streams where we all got together and made a new awesome character. Do be sure to keep an eye out for future live streams as we plan to be doing them every two weeks. So keep an eye out and stay tuned. Alrighty everyone, well let's get into the concept of Lime. Previously in our Rainbow Friends character concept series, we looked into the character of Grey. Grey was a shape-shifting character that had the ability to morph into other Rainbow Friends. He would chase the players around the map as any of the friends, meaning each player had to deal with a double up of any given character. Eventually Grey broke the rules and morphed into a strange version of Red. Red couldn't have this abomination running around looking like him. So in the end, Red zapped Grey back into his original shape and locked him up in the facility. So now the players wouldn't have to worry about Grey morphing into any other characters again. But this wouldn't be the last character that they would need to deal with. Little did the players know that there was yet another character waiting in the shadows. And waiting was something they were very, very good at. So the next character that we're introducing is Lime. Hence the name, Lime is a bright mixture of green and yellow. They have a narrow oblong body with their eyes near their stomach, and their mouth is also at the top of their head. This mouth is filled with rows of pointy sharp teeth and a strange tongue protruding out of it. And it's with this tongue where Lime's true ability lies. So when developing Lime, Red experimented with a wide range of different plants. But the plants that piqued Red's interest the most were the carnivorous type. In nature, there are a lot of plants that lure prey in and eat them alive. The most famous being the Venus flytrap. This notorious plant is well known for eating many different insects. But when it comes to lime, their prey is much, much bigger than an insect. So when it comes to lime's tongue, it has this special ability of luring in its prey. And the way in which it can do this is by imitating certain objects. Lime can sense what its prey desires and will lure them into a deadly trap. Red hosted many large scale tests where subjects needed to collect a number of objects. But little did the test subjects know that one of these items would actually be Lime's tongue. And in all honesty, you really couldn't tell which one of them was the fake item. So when the test subjects would grab the fake item, their hands would stick to it, and they'd be reeled in by Lime's tongue directly into their mouth. Although Lime is a carnivorous creature, they didn't have to eat all that often. Lime only needs just a few feedings and they should be good for a week or two. This is because whatever they ate would slowly digest in their stomach over time. Needless to say, being eaten by Lime was a terrible way to go. But Red would soon find out just how smart Lime is. In one instance, Red found his favourite screwdriver laying on the floor. He didn't even notice that he dropped it, but just before he went to go pick it up, he realised that he already had his favourite screwdriver in his back pocket. It was at this moment when Red figured out just how smart Lime truly was. Lime was definitely a creature that shouldn't be underestimated, and it was quite clear that Lime had no loyalty to anyone, not even their creator, Red. As far as Lime was concerned, everyone was an equal food source, and no one would be safe. So now we return back to the players. They are still trying to find a way out of the Oddworld theme park. So in this gameplay segment, the players need to collect numerous bags of fertilizer. About 15 bags should do it. Once they've collected the bags, they'll need to add it to the beanstalk and it should shoot up and grow very high. And when this happens, they'll be able to climb out of here. But the players will soon find out that one of these bags of fertilizer wouldn't be what it seems. Well, it looks like Lime is ready to feed once more. Be careful what you pick up off the ground. It could just be the last thing you do. 
So amongst the bags of fertilizer, there would be one fake one. So in total, there would be 16. So the players need to walk around and carefully decide which bag is the fake. Once they figured out which bag it is, they would need to avoid it at all costs. There wouldn't really be any tried and true way to figure out which one was the fake. It would just have to be a process of elimination. So if some players are rushing around picking up every bag they can, they might just run into the wrong one. And then that would be the end of them. Finally, all the players collect the bags of fertilizer and give them to the beanstalk. The little beanstalk quickly grows in size. But the only thing was, it wasn't a beanstalk at all. In fact, it was a lime plant. And in this large plant grows four more limes. They quickly ripen and fall off the tree. Now there are five limes on the loose. And if the players don't stop this plant from sprouting any more limes, they'll be overrun. What have you done? This whole place will be filled with limes before we know it. You have to fix this. Destroy the plant as soon as you can. If we put herbicides in the sprinkler systems, we might be able to stop them. Hurry up before any more start to grow. So the players have to collect 10 bottles of herbicide, but with five limes on the loose, there would now be five fake bottles on the map, totaling in 15 bottles, five fake, 10 real. So the players need to run around and trust their instincts on which bottle they think is real. Because once again, if they choose the fake one, they'll be plant food before they know it. Finally, the players gather up all the herbicide and load them in the sprinkler system. A large cloud of herbicide sprays all over the park. And eventually, the poison affects the limes as they shrivel up and perish. Each lime shrinks in size and loses all their vibrant color. Along with the shriveled limes, the lime plant also shrinks and withers away. Finally, the players have done it. They don't need to worry about these troublesome limes anymore. But as we all know, this would be far from the last enemy they need to deal with. So I think that lime would be an awesome addition to the Rainbow Friends cast of characters. They offer a unique fake out ability that will always keep the players guessing. And as to what we can guess the next character will be, we'll just have to wait and see. Alrighty everyone, well that's what we have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please consider leaving a like, comment and subscribing as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, do be sure to let us know what you thought of Lime in the comment section down below and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.